Okay, filling the tank with oil. This is very nerve wracking. As you can see how shaky I am. It's very hard to film and hold this gallon of oil, which is very heavy. As you can see, everything is being totally submerged in this gooby oil stuff. That's very, very slimy. And it looks pretty nasty. Luckily, this is a sealed tank. Everything is uh, pretty much uh, silicone sealant. And nothing is fried, as you can see. It has hit the board. Has yet to hit the fan. Although I can hear it. The fan is actually slowing down. It's hitting the edge of the fan. Has not yet hit the GPU cooler. Let me get the second gallon. Ugh, this stuff is $20 a gallon. This whole thing cost me $60 for oil. I really hope it's worth it. <laughs> ah, this is hard on here. Hold on a second. Here, look. Beautiful close up view of the side of the tank. There's the uh, Minecraft bed that Steve will actually be able to sleep on, but obviously since he's a figurine, he's not going anywhere. Okay, I'm having difficulty with the lid. Here we go. Okay, we're on the gallon two of the Minnow Oil computer. I call it the oil rig, because that's what it is. Now they're not spill on anything. Pour evenly. Again, this is very heavy. And the fan is about to slow down while it hits the oil. This is quite an interesting project, as you can see. It's starting to sound very weird as the fan gets sucked up in oil. The GPU fan is probably going to be submerged pretty soon. Um, Still running like a charm. Nothing more than just really thick air. Obviously long, really thick liquid, but still non-conductive. Nothing is frying. We might not even need the full three gallons because a lot of it's going to be taken up by the volume of the components. So I'm going to use the rest to probably top off the tank. Um, probably won't need more than a few, a few more pints. There we go. Finished with gallon two. I'm keeping the bottles so that if I ever have to move this computer ever again, I can pretty much drain the entire tank and uh, of oil. I require I put in these fill holes in case I have to put a radiator and a pump, like an external radiator. And um, so far, Steve is um, diving. I didn't give him a dive helmet. Um, I didn't have the uh, level uh, to enchant uh, a dive helmet for him, but um, he seems to be doing fine. Uh, don't worry, he won't die. As you can see, my uh, redstone ore that has the hard drive LED is um you can't really see it but I'm gonna try to turn off the lights and show you what it looks like with the hard drive so you can't really see it because the hard drive LED only flickers but sometimes 
yeah, there you go, you can kind of see it. If it's really churning away at like loading a program or something, you can really see the redstone glow. Um, I have a blue LED in this tank just for just so you can see it at night. But for most time in my room, I'm not going to really need the light on my computer. So, let's fill the rest. One half more gallon. Luckily, because this stuff is so expensive. It's the reason why I have a three gallon tank and I have the power supply on the back. And as you can see, I made sure that I have all the SATA connections external to the tank because even though solid state drives can be submerged in oil, I really don't want to have problems with uh, dipping my hand in oil to re retrieve a hard drive that failed or something. And also, it makes it easier so we can add more hard drives in the future. Um, you know, hopefully we won't have any problems since this is just a server.